Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint one of my favourite summer topics. We're going to do a lovely lemon tree in a blue and white pot. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to first draw a nice rounded pot by basically drawing two brackets that are just tapering in to each other and then curve that bottom and also the top and then you can just sort of give it a little extra sort of tidying up if you need and then you can just bring that round at the back there. Now for our lemon tree I'm going to draw up a, a branch a sort of angular branches coming off a, a central trunk but I'm trying to sort of create a, a general shape so I like to sort of almost draw like a bit of a cloud around the shape just so I can then have a bit more help and guidance with where my branches need to go. You don't need to draw in every branch but it's just helpful to have a realistic sense of you know just your, your trees structure I think that always helps with drawing trees and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my putty rubber to just lightly rub out the pencil and we're going to begin with our lemons so I'm going to use my lemon yellow just here and my cadmium yellow there so I'm just waking that up and you've got to use lemon yellow when painting lemons and I think a size zero brush is going to do the trick and I'm going to place in a series of lemon shapes and my lemons are going to be sort of nicely sort of a bit wobbly not too perfect but essentially the shape is a sort of oval with a little bit of a, a little bit of a knobble on the bottom um, and they hang from the branches um, and then I'm just going to drop in just a little bit of cadmium yellow into the lemons. So I think what, what's fun is to try and not make them all sort of evenly distributed around your tree. Try and sort of do a few sort of uneven clusters. And you're painting them in in a, a sort of a wet paint, it's not really dilute, you can see the colours are quite vibrant but it's it's still quite light and bright and it's not massively concentrated because that means we can then be adding a little bit more to it later on. So I'll just add one or two more lemons and then we'll start to add the leaves. I've mixed up some green gold and sap green and now I'm going to start play, painting in the leaves. I've got a size zero brush and what I'm going to do is just paint in little sort of curved single little C curves to begin with just sort of coming off the end of each branch and that's how I'm going to begin and each lemon they might get a little leaf coming over the top that's why it is important to have allowed your leaves uh, your lemons time to dry and in doing this we'll be gradually filling up the space and we'll be able to see just where else we want to put branches and maybe we might want to put another lemon in and then we'll be able to put in branches too. Those leaves look lovely and that is literally all from just painting in leaves along the various pencil lines. Now I've just mixed up some some burnt sienna and got a little bit of Payne's Grey in there just to make a slightly darker version of the brown but just a little bit of Payne's Grey to keep that mix brown 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting in the wood. So I'm going to use the lighter colour first and I've done one side and then I've just leave, left a tiny bit of unpainted space to create a little bit of a highlight and then back on the, the darker side. I've just added a little bit of that darker colour and as we go into the tree itself the darker colour will really start to come into its own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort of work my way along a few of these branches and just find the places where I might see the branch initially and then what we'll be doing is we'll be adding in loads more as we go but initially we just want to sort of fill in the ones we know are there. Now I've got that painted in, I can now be a bit freer with maybe adding a sort of a little bit of a lemon here or there just in the in the background or uh, an extra leaf or branch or two. So you can now just go through and find just the little extras to fill it out here or there. And you can see the leaves don't all need to be connected up to anywhere, although I will be adding in a few more branches. Now it's time to look at the blue and white design. I think French ultramarine blue is really fantastic to do any kind of delft wear. I just added a little bit of the um, Payne's grey brown soil in as well, just if you were if you were wondering. Now, what I like to do is, is I usually start with a, a bit of a, a sort of border detail on the pot just to help me sort of establish the curved nature of the design. So a few little lines around the top are always good. And then it's really up to you what you'd like to do, whether you're wanting to just keep things simple with a series of marks and dots, or whether you'd like to do something a little bit more ornate. So for example, you could do some little sort of simple little roses. It's all about keeping the little white gaps in between. So let's do another one of those. So I start with a little sort of curve and another one, usually another one, and then a little bit of a frill in the middle. And then I use do some petals that have sort of unfurled. It's all about just trying to keep things nicely sort of simple and spaced I think is probably my biggest uh, 
tip. So I'm going to add in a different kind of flower as well. We'll just do a few little a few little dabs and dots. And you can start to build up a, a little pattern as you go around. And don't forget that the curved edge of the pot will mean just keeping uh, one thought on how the, the pattern will sort of stretch around the pot. Okay, so once your pattern has dried, what we can do is take a, just a very little bit of Payne's Grey. And with a size 2 brush, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a single sweep down the side and a very little bit underneath and then I'm going to just paint a tiny bit there as well and I think I might just do a little edge as well and what's happened there is basically we've used a bit of Payne's Grey in a very dilute shallow manner but also just it's just sort of taken the tiniest bit of the blue and just sort of smushed it down and it's a nice little watercolour effect uh, that has just added to the roundness and the shadow of that pot. So we're nearly done but what we can do is just add a little bit of detail. I'm just taking some of the green gold and adding it into my cadmium yellow here to make a colour that will work as a bit of a sort of low light for some of our lemons. So we can just paint a few dots, a few sort of textured dimples on our lemons, which is quite fun. And then we can also add a few little leaf lines in sap green to our leaves. So you can see I'm just adding little lines of sap green to the leaves. And then what I think is quite fun, a little bit sweet, is maybe just have a little one that's just fallen off. And we'll add a few leaves to that once that's dry. So to finish off, I'm just going to put a little sweep of shadow under the pot and just a little bit under the lemons. And that was just using the little bit of dilute Payne's Grey that we had for the pot. So there you go, a lovely lemon tree. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a massive thank you to my patrons for their support, because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it, then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with that one. And of course, if you never want to miss another video, then hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell, and we'll see you again next time. Bye!